Those who can do. Those who can't talk about those who can. Now, can you or can you not? Are you just one that sits on the sideline to talk about other people or can you step up? Well, good Saturday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I am enjoying this warm weather. It's like 72 degrees outside, and the wind is blowing. It feels so fresh and so clean, clean. And we have some news um, about the Dallas Cowboys. I have... No idea what the hell my wife is doing. I hear this rattling. I don't know if she's chopping ice or what. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I can't stop right now because, you know, I am a one take guy. One take, okay? Well, sometimes two. Sometimes two. Sometimes I'll get a sneeze in there and I'll have to do, okay, I got to do that over or or my nose will start itching because my nose is always itching and stuff and that, that drives me crazy. So then I start over. But for the most part, I'm a one take kind of guy. So according to Jeremy Fowler of ESPN, the four letter network, he says that the Cowboys and Zeke Elliott have mutual interest in reuniting. I'm sure Zeke would love to come back and play with this guy, with, 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 with that. I'm sure that he would love to come back after going to New England and being with Bill Belichick, who's no longer there. He would love to come home and finish off his career in Dallas. Seems like a no brainer. The only thing that I worry about here, here's my worry. Okay. We have been here before, all right? Let's be clear here. Zeke Elliott, as much as people want to say, yeah, we're good, we got Zeke. Zeke is not the same guy he was three, four years ago. Let's be clear here, okay? If the Cowboys' only answer at running back is, we're just going to bring back Zeke and we're good, I want you to understand that he had – did he have a thousand yards the last year he was here? He averaged about three point seven yards a carry. It wasn't great. Now, not all of that Zeke. Zeke did have a hyperexpended knee on one of those years and a PCL injury, um, another one of the years, and so on. If Zeke is going to be a part-time player, if Zeke is going to be your short yardage guy, if Zeke is going to be your between the tackles guys, then by all means, that's fantastic. But if you remember when Jason Witten came back from the Raiders, okay, after going there, we heard Jason Witten was like, you know, I'm here to be a mentor and do whatever the team wants me to do and yada, yada, yada. And the problem was Jason Witten stayed on the field. Jason Witten wasn't there mentoring. He was there playing. And the problem with that was Jason Witten, it was funny because they'd always say, oh, Jason Witten, he always was open, man, for whatever reason. He's slow as a turtle, but he's always open. And it's like, yeah, guys, that's where the defense picked their poison. And they looked and they said, Michael Gallup, this is when Michael Gallup used to gallop down the field. Do you want Michael Gallup to get the ball and be able to take it to the house? Or do you want Amari Cooper to be able to take it to the house? Or... Do you leave the middle open for Jason Witten where you know he's going to get a seven, eight yard catch? He might get a yard or two, but he's not going to take it to the house. And that's the calculations that teams would make when they would go ahead and have that kind of situation. And so, yeah, Zeke Elliott, by all means, bring him back, short yardage back. But if it's going to be Zeke Elliott is our workhorse back again, bro, it ain't going to help. And for those who say, yeah, well, Tony Pollard, you know, he got 1,000 yards. Yeah, I, I, let, me, let me pull up something here real quick because I want to go through the statistics. Um, Dallas Cowboys 2022 stats. Okay. And we're going to go to pro football reference because I always like using that, and I like using the same one because it's been consistent. So when people talk about Tony Pollard, yeah, well, Tony Pollard had 1,000 yards, so I don't want to hear you complaining about, you know, uh, your back. Well, here's the problem. In 2022, we rushed the ball for 2,298 yards. And breaking that down, 
Zeke Elliott had 876 yards. Tony Pollard had 1,007. Now, it was great because Tony Pollard was getting 5.2 yards a carry. Zeke Elliott was getting 3.8 a carry. Not great. So, let's go. So, think about this now. I want you to think about this. We got 2,200. Let me see where the ranking was on that, too. The Cowboys ranked in rushing the football sixth in attempts, ninth in actual yardage, and second in TDs. Let's go to the next season. The next season, the Dallas Cowboys team stats, we got 1,920 yards on 4.1 yard per average. On attempts, we averaged 14th in yards. Um, we averaged 14th in TDs. We averaged 15. So clearly a big drop off. And Tony Pollard, who had 1,007 yards the year before, Ended up with 1,005 yards, but instead of 5.2 yards a carry, it was 4.1. I'm sorry, 4.0. He dropped by a yard, 0.2. And you didn't have Zeke Elliott's 876 yards. You dropped off to Rico, who had 361, and Dak, who had 242, and CD, who had 113. So herein lies. I know 300 yards doesn't sound like a lot, but when you have to do that many more attempts to get those yards, that hurts you. And that's where you look at it and say, yeah, Zeke will help. The combination of Zeke and Tony Pollard is what worked in 2022. But in 23, you didn't have that combination. So Zeke, we'll see how much it's going to be. I can imagine it's going to be a dirt cheap contract. Uh, the crazy thing is, is we're still actually paying $6 million in dead money this year, which there's nothing they can do about that. That still will be part of the cost of having him here again. So there you have it, guys. Zeke Elliott, Dallas Cowboys, mutual interest in him coming back. So another big move by the Dallas Cowboys. Hooray. And... It looks like it's getting kind of cloudy, looking like it's going to rain. So um, I guess I'm not going to get any plants out here unless I go get them now and plant them before it gets dark. <sighs> Man, it's just never enough time in the day, good people. Never enough time in the day. All right, I'll be making sure I watch my man game time and prime time tonight. And... Uh, They'll be talking about the draft, and I got to start getting it in my mind. We're only three weeks, three and a half weeks away from heading there. Peace out.